Hey guys, welcome back to another Hypixel you'd see. So honestly, today's just more of a filler upload. I'm editing something else at the moment, but honestly in Premiere Pro, my playback is just so slow and I don't understand why it is. And it really makes it hard for me to edit longer files as it lags even more. And like the video I'm currently editing is like a three hour long file. So it just makes it insanely challenging to edit that thing. And uh, yeah, if anyone knows how to fix that, that would be really helpful. I don't understand because like in my task manager, I look at like how much of my CPU or like GPU and like memory is being used up. It is not maxing out anything. It's like not denting like the computer part usage. So I should have plenty of processing and like graphics power on my computer left to like be able to actually utilize the program. But it just is so laggy. It's ridiculous. And it's so annoying because then I just can't edit anything. I'm too frustrated about it. It's just super annoying to deal with. So that's why we're just going to record this short game. And then it'll be much more concise to edit. So I can get something out for today. Like if I just record a regular highlights, I can get it out within like an hour or two. It's just really just frustrating. It's going to be a really good video. Anyways, we're just going to hop into this you would see hopefully this game can go pretty well and yeah let's just get right into it we're just gonna be playing archer kit doing our regular highlights if i sound a bit frustrated it's just because i really am i don't know it's been like a constant problem for a few days what is wrong with this flower oh my i'm gonna take that flower out of its misery oh my god we are not allowing that to continue okay anyways we got arcane so let's just head into a nice cave over here uh, there's a guy in this cave that price started over there so we're not going to head into that cave. We're just going to keep running a little bit more. i got the extra arrows to start, which is probably perfect if I go for an Andro rush. I think this cave has some promise to it. So we're just going to look around. If we can find some iron. That'd be really, really nice. But there's no iron. So we're just going to get right out of that cave. I hate digging down because like this strategy is really good. I do think it's probably the best strategy. Even if you have high ping, like you can still do good with bow. Like, playing on Australian servers and I was still doing pretty good at bow. I mean, obviously not as well, but from close range, it's still not that bad. When you have high ping, you just got to get used to it. All right, guys, so we're doing this guy. I'm on Oz Heroes right now, and this guy literally has 36 ping, and I have 225. So, like, I'm just trying to show an example of, like, how I can still play with high ping. Like, it's harder. I won't lie. It does not make it very convenient. Also, I cannot block it for my life. Like, I should never block it on this server. But, yeah, it's harder to play, but you can still do it. Like, I can still... It's a bow shots here. It's very hard. I'm not gonna lie. I do feel bad if you have, like, really high ping to high pixel, but... I can still make it work. I can still hit some rods here and there. We can still get some good hits. It's just hard. Like, the whole hardest part is obviously, like, watering and lavaing. You can still play well. Not as well, to be honest, but... You get some laggy hits here and there, and you can get a quick trap. And I can still hit the lava, and yeah, we're still doing okay, which is the important part here is that we're doing fine even with high ping. That's kind of just crazy to think about, like, I'm still doing fine, which is, I don't know, I kind of maybe want to do a 200 ping challenge on high pixel once, that might be really hard to do, but um, I honestly kind of want to try that out, except it's going to be a lot harder, it's, there's a lot more bowing, but I'm still doing fine with bowing, which is the thing, so I kind of do want to try that challenge out, that could be fun. We can kind of just walk through rods too. We'll hit a bow shot to win this, I think. Nice. I don't know, I really do think Archer Kit's the best way to win UHC games in the current meta. I mean, obviously, you're gonna get hopped on a bunch. That's just how it goes. However, at least you can kill the melee cheaters with your bow, so that's that. Now, if I could just find a decent cave that's not explored, that'd be really appreciated. I'm just gonna try to take this cave and it's not mine, which is good. I just want to find the first cave as soon as I can because if I can get Andrew, I'll make running to zero zero much faster. You're gonna have to do the running either way. I feel like a lot of the games end like this, where it's just like it's just another UT game where I can't find anything useful. So it's probably just gonna end up being a regular apprentice rush here because I doubt I'm gonna find really anything. We found some redstone now, and then we just need our iron. And hopefully I can just get lucky and have a creeper just spawn in magically. There's a name tag over there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is grab a lava water bucket and I'm just gonna hit this guy with the good old obsidian trap oh my god i could not get him there i should probably craft my armor but who cares i don't have enough for apprentice sword so i'll just make a iron and a regular sword and we'll kill him like that but he has no iron oh my god what happened bro what happened oh there's a creeper there i can make andrel now great that works i think i made the process too complicated to kill this guy let me grab this creeper real quick 
And then with that, we got our Android roll and I'll put my way we go. This has not been quite the start that I wish we could have had, but not terrible to be honest. And we got a Jihad, so that's always nice. I'm just gonna clean him here. Who's he fighting? There's gold here. He's six gold, I'll take it. I got a three. I'm gonna bow Jazz off of him because he's higher. And it's just a three, right? I never dig, but if they're one hit, I might as well, you know what I mean? Interesting. Sharp tree diamond. Actually, I'd rather just use Andrew. Let me get Tarnham actually, so I'll do that. She's a 19, okay, so we'll fight him. Oh, he's B hopping. She had in hand, by the way. He's gonna dig down on me, dude. There's a half diamond over here, Kobe. At 36, though. I'm gonna let that guy deal with the hacker, I guess. Oh, he's gonna get B hopped on now. Cool. Great job, bro. I'm gonna put some shots in him. I'm gonna let these kids get hopped on. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, I just stole the kill off the hopper. I'm gonna clean, so I'm just gonna back out of here. I think I just hit trade with the hopper, which scares me a lot. There's a lot of gold there in the head still, so... I wanna just bow this guy off of it. I definitely stole the gold, yes, there we go. That's worth it, I can make a gold pack. Or oh, two gold packs, okay. That's 100% worth it. Make an arrow pack real quick. Another gold pack. And we can make three gaps with that, nice. And let's get enchanted. He's at very high health, so he's scary. But we can fight purple, you would see, so I can get pants now. 18, actually. Okay, we'll go for him. Shot him once. I don't know why he's like running in a circle. His straight figure is so weird. Oh, he's like scaring me a bit. I'll just kill him then in melee. I don't think we need a Jihad here. Actually, I do need a Jihad. Got him. Hide. Okay, that's so big. I'm not mailing this dude. If you hit trade with the B upper, you're too threatening. Honestly, I have no clue what I'm thinking. Like half the time, I literally just say one thing and then I'll just do the exact opposite thing right afterwards. Like, I don't know what this logic is. I really just gotta question my decisions after the fact, I guess. He's so laggy too, so I might as well just bow him. It's probably gonna be the smarter option. What's his last gap, what? Okay, she edited. I don't want to drop with this G head, but I also don't want to eat it yet. I'm getting shot from all directions right now. Yes, go in. What the? Why would you just do this to yourself? I'm gonna eat another Jihad on me, okay. I'm gonna Jihad just to run then. We're getting cleaned again, sure. Backstab him, bro, thank you. I'm just gonna one by one here and then we're gonna kill him here. Unless he Jihad's again. Okay, buddy. Infinite Jihad's out here. Back down to 11 though. I'm gonna go kill this guy real quick. I'm gonna Jihad on this guy. This guy's cheating, so we cannot fight him. That's actually a regular head. I prefer to melee drop people, but like, this guy's a clean bow and he's cheating. So. Oh my god, he G-edited on me, of course. Like, these guys are just... This guy definitely has zero kills, though. I need to kill him. His gaps, I need to drop him here. Please. Five. He has four gaps, let's go, we're back in this. Boots with those. Well, this guy has no clue what he's doing, he's got clean diamonds. Just turn around, please. I 
I really need this kill, dude. Got both the caps. Sweet. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna let Central fight the other hacker. So let's just kill these guys real quick. G head on him. His helmet broke. He got death sight actually, but no helmet means death. And shark for diamond. Fusion chest plate. I just feel like really this is the most consistent strategy because you can always survive even if they're not looking good for you. Just whip out your bow because they might be hacking. But at least if they're not hopping, <laughs> it's fine. Boots. Oh man, hey. Full prop four, not bad. That's probably a sharp three and full clean diamond armor versus my literal <laughs> 3G sharp four and full prop four. Oh my. Well then. Oh, you actually can tank because I only have a sharp four diamond. Well then, here we go. I tried to eat the Jets, but I don't think it matters. Honestly, I don't know if Central cheats or not, but I mean, if you melee a B-Hopper, just let me be clear with you. If you buy a hit trade with a B-Hopper, I'm not meleeing you. Like, I don't even want to risk it. I don't have time to risk this stuff. I always like risk it, but I'm like, I'm not sure if they're cheating or not. And then I die because I risk it. I'm not trying to take any risks. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.